finished the yacht. It's super early right now, it's like 3 in the morning. <laughs> yeah, but for good reason. So, today we're going into bull trout country, and we're going to be looking for a big bull trout. Never caught one. It's a bucket list fish for me. So right now, we'll get the morning started off with uh, some chunky soup. We'll get that put in the stand like with some coffee. Oh, buddy. It's going to be a beautiful morning. We got a long drive. I'm so excited about this. Kelly's going to be driving. And, uh, I'm not exactly after the biggest bull trout in the world, right? I just want to catch one. It's, it's a must fish. It's a must have fish for me. It just, it just is. So, hopefully I can get myself on a bull trout. that soup. Just the places that you go to catch these trout, the country that you see, um, the fact that there's not a lot of them, right? I can relate to kind of like my first steelhead. Um, there's just many reasons why catching a bull trout is it's amazing, and I hope that I get to do so today. Uh, I'm going to I'm gonna make a series called Chasing Bulls. Today is episode one, and basically you and I the viewers and I are going to go out and chase bulls as long as we can until I get a bull trout. So, today's episode one. Hopefully it goes well. we got a long drive. Um, i got to get the ball rolling here. So stay tuned, guys. I'll see you. I'll see you when we get to Kelly's place. All right. Meeting up with Kelly right now in the parking lot. Catch some fishies. We're going to go catch some fish. Probably not. All right, so as soon as we get everything loaded up, guys, <coughs> we got a long drive, but uh, it's gonna be a cold morning too. Got the addicted landing net, brought that today. There's some some really big fish in this system, um, and you want to take care of these bull trout. We don't have a lot of them, so let's get everything loaded up, hit the road, and I'll see you guys on the road. Beginning to our bull trout trip, guys. We got snow on the mountain. Oh, this is gonna be so fun, dude! It's gonna be a good day. We're getting this, we're gonna get in some beautiful country here in a little while. And uh, fish or no fish, it's it's gonna be a great day. So just just stick with us and enjoy the video. We're getting close. See? Can't see Kelly, but anyway, we're getting close. It's gonna be daylight soon. We're excited. We're here, boys and girls. Bull trout country. It's still super early, but just got to the river. We're excited. We're gonna be down there making some casts here. In just a minute. Got in the waders. Got in the gear. You ready to do this? Let's go down there. We have made it to the river, guys. Look at how beautiful this is. This is gorgeous. So excited to be out here in bull trout country. Just, just look at this. Nobody around. This is spectacular. Let's get the first cast in there.
but uh, I heard from the local guys, the guys that really know what to do with bull trout, that a feed has been really productive for them at times, especially red. They also said jigs work, because jigs kind of like a fly, right? So, we're trying everything. We are new bull trout anglers. This trip's going to be humbling, i got to get there. <laughs> but, uh, just take a look around, guys. This is some amazing. I mean, which is. So I was running the 8 ounce uh, Nightmare. I think we're going to take that off. And we're going to lighten it up, go a little bit smaller profile, and we're going to go with a 16 ounce Mustad hair jig. And then uh, just kind of make it a little smaller, a little lighter, a little more like a fly. And uh, we'll see if we can't get big. I had one bobber down. One bobber down. I went through that hole a whole bunch of more times. This little undercut bank right here. Bobber did not drain any other times. So let's see if uh, let's see if I was right. So when I trip trim that tag in, it's like right there. Put it inside my box. And uh, hopefully we can get some more well, hopefully we can get some fit right here. <laughs> oh, yes. so it's, it's just a good? coat, yes. Perfect pop. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Right. Perfect, perfect pocket. Get it right in there. Put the new jig on. Just make it cast one. I'm gonna put it right where my bobber just drained. Vision of Bull Trout City. So we're running everything in there. Kelly's swinging a spinner in there right now. I heard they'll bite spinners, um, few and far between. So we just kind of got to do everything that we know how to do. We also have Rapalas. I guess uh, I guess these bull trout, they like, they like Rapalas. A little jerk bait action, get it in there. Get some erratic stuff, kind of like a coho. So we'll see, we'll see. Okay, boys and girls. One thing they like is these Rapalas. So we're gonna get that rigged up. First thing I'm gonna do is take off my spinner. This spinner works really well for salmon steel, but I just don't have confidence in it for some reason. So put that away. So let's tie this bad boy on without hooking myself. Just hooked all over this damn thing. When I clip my tag in, I'm not gonna leave it on the bank. Clip that, throw it in the bag there. There we go. Got my Rapala. Push this thing around, get some fish.
spinner red side. Fish and everything, guys. We think those fish would be sitting right behind these boulders, especially coming up this rabbit. I don't know how far these bull trout migrate from where they're they're born, but uh, this area looks pretty fishy. Ran a bobber and jig through there. He's running a spinner through there. We're kind of taking turns. Is it a big one? Nice. That's a whitey. A whitey? Yeah. Well, I've never seen one before. What is it? Can't believe I got the net for a white fish. I had no idea what it was, dude. Now I gotta watch the net. Yeah, it's not very. It's not a very cool fly rod. I wonder if center pin counts. That's a big fish. It's like a whitey. Yeah. Or a kokanee. Looks like a kokanee. No, it's a whitey. That's a that's a trout. Okay. You wanna put it in the net? That's a, is that a white eagle? Yeah. That's the third bobber down ahead. I had like three too, but I just stuck that last one. Chasing bull trout is fun, guys. Just there's more signs of life. Caught some white fish, caught like three white fish. Nothing to brag about. But you really want to get some bull trout, man. Is that a rainbow? Super good this soup. Hard to beat good soup on a cold day. Good hot soup. Finish my 
breakfast. Which kind you got today? It's a uh, potato cheddar bacon. Oh, wow. But is that what you have? Yeah. <laughs> but. Two guys cut from the same cloth. <laughs> <laughs> Will we get five whiteys out of this hole? Uh, I hook. Okay, ladies and gents, we're gonna hike back to the truck. This bull trout thing is a little hard. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. It's uh, 10 30 or whatever time right now. Uh, just had some lunch and uh, I don't know, you never know. We could move and get to a pot of them. From what I hear, they like to school up together, so you find one, you find some, right? So stay tuned, guys. Uh, just don't think we found them yet. Put it down in the, in the comments. How many episodes do you think it's going to take before we get a bull trap? Chasing bulls day one. I think it's going to be day 27. Three or four. <laughs> three or four. Day 27. I'm optimistic, boys. <laughs> I say day three or four. Look at this, guys. What pretty colors. You got a red tree, green tree, dead tree. <laughs> So pretty out here. And you got Kelly. All right, boys and girls, we are gonna take off. Let's go uh, down river, eh? Uh huh. Let's go get a little lower, find a few more fish. Like actual fish? Those are fish, dude. I mean, they're not they the ones you want. They don't count. Tug, man. There was no tug there. I want a big bull trout. <laughs> I was like, dude, fish, I think. <laughs> it might be a stick. <laughs> yeah, he didn't even know he had a fish on for like an hour. I'm sitting here like, camera! He's like, ah! And then I'm like, I don't know! I run over there, he's like, get the net! I get, the, I run back, I get the net, it's a freaking white fish, dude. <laughs> this guy had me get the net for a white fish. And I still netted it. So we set the net on fire. We don't have a net anymore. Yeah. It smells like white fish. All right, guys, we'll see you at the next spot. Wow, this is some, uh, this is some beautiful sight. So much velocity, so much power coming right through that little channel. Wow, this feels like bull trout country. This, this is pretty cool, huh? Yeah. I like it. It's a cool little bridge. Little cool spot on the river. Incredible shoot. Beautiful blue. Oh yeah. Okay, we have made it back to the river. Um, we're just in this like walking speed, uh, trout, steelhead looking run. Um, hopefully we can find a rainbow or red side in here or something. We're just gonna fish it for just a little bit, just kind of pass through, make a couple casts, and get down to where we really think these bull trout are gonna be sitting. We talked to some locals and they're saying they're saying the wood piles and slower stuff, deeper tail outs, things like that. So we're gonna. We're gonna kind of look for some coho -y type type water. Um, there's not a lot of it, so I think when we do find it, there's gonna be fish there because there's not a lot of it. We've we've been hiking, we've been hiking a long way looking for this kind of stuff. So stay tuned, guys. Uh, hopefully, there's a bull trout for the end of the day. Alright, so we run a spoon through there. As you guys can see, blue and chrome, 
little Clio two fifth ounce. Um, I run some Apollo plugs through here. I mean, I'm seeing lay down trees everywhere in the water. And I'm fishing that stuff behind the rock up there. I'm, I mean, I'm fishing everything. So, I mean, I'm going to run a bead in there now. Got that awesome colored bead there. I'm going to run that. Hopefully, we can come across at least a rainbow or red side of something. Then we're gonna boot scoot boogie down over yonder where hopefully there's a few more. Because there's not. I barely missed my scene. Not a few right here. I wanna get a little more in that soft water. Start to tap. Pitch on this inside. I was warned that there was not a lot of trout in the second group. Um, my buddy said if you get one bowl, it's a good day. So, you know, I think that's what we're experiencing. Hopefully, we can find a little pocket. Let me tell you, first hand, we're fishing hard. According to all my friends, fish with Paula is if you're not a fly fisherman, right? That's what you heard. That's what we've seen on video. That's what they've been saying. My buddy said a red beak can be pretty deadly too. This is kind of a variation of red. Kelly's run the red. We're definitely fishing hard. I'll get some white fish. So let's go hike down. Look at all these big boulders. What kind of mushroom is that? I don't know. I've seen mushrooms all over. We're in the forest. Look at these. Not I don't know. I don't know mushrooms. You can probably eat it, but they're not chanterelles. There's a bunch of little mushrooms off this tree. Some right there, and then there's some over there. But we don't know nothing about it, so we ain't we ain't messing with it. Look at there's. Look at these ones, dude. Like red. Look at. This one, this one. I'll look at you. No, no thanks. <laughs> look at the size of that ugly mushroom. Comment down below like what you guys think these mushrooms are. I don't know nothing about them, so comment down below. Maybe you can teach me something. Might do a little mushroom picking in the future, so. Maybe if we can get some good edible mushrooms that I know nothing about, maybe you guys can tell me something about. Could do some for some uh, salmon catching cooks and stuff, so. Comment down below. Hiking back. So it's nothing but white water for <laughs> two miles. Hey. A mile. The white water just keeps going. Uh, I think we're going to hike back to the truck, guys. Maybe hit a couple pockets along the way, but. Bull trout, one. Fish in the odds, zero. <laughs> Yeah, you got the usual Yeah. Man, it would have been nice to catch a big bull. I know they're in here. Man, we think steelhead's a fish of a thousand casts. Bull trout must be fish of two million casts. There's a, there's a guy that, that caught a bull trout yesterday. Um, yeah. Man, we hit all the pockets that you could think of, man. All the steelhead water, the coho water, everything. So we're going to hike our way back and hopefully uh, hopefully we see a bull trout laying somewhere and we'll cast on it. <laughs> but anyway. Beautiful river views. Yeah. We'll see you guys at the truck.
had to walk at least two, two and a half miles. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Almost back to the truck, boys and girls. Gotta have a little barbecue. You can see the truck! That's a hike. That was like two and a half miles, dude. I'm tired. For real. Let's have a barbecue, man. Whew. Just got back to the truck. I'm gonna drink. We're in the Rockies, so I gotta drink a, a cool slat. I gotta clean one out of my backpack. Daryl over here spilled the beer in his backpack. Mm. We're gonna barbecue some, some wieners up. Eat them. <laughs> Man, chasing bull trout, guys. Difficult. It's difficult. It's a, it's a grind. It's definitely a grind. Um, this is a just just a wonderful fish, man. It's a, it's an awesome trout. I don't know how to explain it, but they're few and far between. Kind of like reminds me of like wild steelhead, you know. Um, looking for these things up here in bull trout country. They're around. There was one caught yesterday. I keep saying that. Um, they're around. There's some. There's some fly guys around. We've seen about ten vehicles today. So, you know, all together. Uh, but we just <coughs> we fished hard. Ran into some guys on the trail that fish for Paula's, some F11s, and uh, he said that's what he's gotten several bull trout on, and sure enough. I had an F11 on my pole. <laughs> so I kind of kind of got the the right stuff going, you know. Um, just didn't capitalize on it. Didn't even see fish. We ended up catching five whitefish total. Kelly got three of them. I got two of them. Um, that's it, man. Nothing, nothing else, so... Didn't even see rainbow trout. Didn't see any red side trout. Didn't see any of that. We're definitely in the country for it, but that's okay. <clears throat> humbling, humbling defeat. Let's get some food in our belly. So, if you guys want to see this whole series, man, comment down below because I wanna, I wanna film a, a whole series until I get a bull trout. Uh, I'll take you with me on these adventures, and uh, Kelly will be a part of some. My buddy Eric will be a part of some, and I know some other guys that want to do some bull trout fishing. So. We'll just keep going at it until we find some. But uh, if you guys want to see that series or you know a continuation of these bull trout videos, let me know. I think uh, once I get that first fish, uh, I'm going to be a happy, happy camper. So it's definitely a bucket list fish for me. Let's get cooking right now. Get some food in the belly. It's alright buddy, I'll take care of it. Got it. Oh, it's, it's getting nice and hot, look at that. Finally got the truck, boys and girls club. Look at that. Whoop. Wiener's coming out. <laughs> <laughs> this grill smells. I probably wash it like once a year. No we don't. I should, I said. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm assuming Kelly opened the hole in this. <laughs> this is exactly like something killer. He's like, we need a hot dog. Let's open a hole big enough to fit one out of. Instead of opening the Ziploc. The Ziploc's broke. Oh, yeah, yeah. It didn't work. The <laughs> Ziploc's broke. Hey, let, let, let's, get, let's get in on that. Look okay, at that's a jalapeno cheddar, buddy. Ugh, squirt. <laughs> <laughs> get that wiener out of there, boy. That's the biggest hole I ever seen. Is that grill even on? This doesn't even sizzle. Yeah, no, it's sizzled. It's a half ass sizzle. <laughs> yeah, I'll put it on high for you. Get those things sizzling. Look at those dogs, boy! That does it. Everything is put away. Let's get out of here. Oh, yeah. What am I doing? Where's the other? Oh, yeah. Alright guys, that's going to conclude the day. Uh, just got back in the truck, just had our little meal there. 
We're gonna drive home. We had a long drive. Um, feel defeated. Eh, you know. It was beautiful. Gorgeous country. I came in with decent expectations for, you know, maybe like one fish. Maybe. Maybe if we were lucky. I thought we'd get one fish. We got between us. Bull trout. Five fish. Bull trout. I thought we'd get one bull trout between us. We caught five. cares about white fish? We caught five white fish today. The river can have those white fish. It does have them. We put them back. <laughs> but they probably died. <laughs> they probably no, died. No bull trout. Ran into a couple other anglers out there. No bull trout for them. Uh, it's but, a good day though. But yesterday, a guy got a bull trout. Yeah. And a red band and a rainbow. Yeah. According Talking to him. at the uh, parking lot. Yeah. We didn't see them at the end of the day. They went up, we went down. Um, so we had to run to them. We've seen a lot of cool things. We've seen a giant eagle or a hawk. What was that thing? Well, we saw an eagle first, and then. I, didn't I don't see know what the, I don't I know what the other thing was. The other one looked like a giant hawk. The wingspan on that thing was like six yeah, feet. Dude. That thing was a, that was a big bird. And then I mean we've seen we've seen wildlife. I mean you know we've seen deer. We've seen we've seen some really cool river today. A lot snow. Of, we've seen, seen snow. snow. We've seen really cool river today. We're in bull, bull trout country. I mean you're you're bound to see really cool things and you're out exploring. Uh, this is kind of what fishing's all about. Anyhow, um, you don't always have to catch fish humbling moments when you don't and you learn a lot when you don't too we definitely learned a lot about bull trout fishing today all about the adventure <clears throat> all about the adventure today and uh it just it just reminds me of chasing like elusive like wild steelhead there's just something about this fishery man because I, mean, I know they get big they get 12 13 pounds in here i see pictures out of here big bull trout so they get big um i mean i was looking for a three or four pounder i would have been happy with that <laughs> anything anything, anything. Still had a good day. We'll be back for sure. We're coming back in the future. Yep, that's right. Check it out, guys. Fish in the odds. Got some hot dog sauce on there. Woo! Check out the hoodies. We've got a clothing line in the description below. Go click it. And if you guys want to see more of these bull trout videos, let me know. Like I said, I plan on making this episode one of Chasing Bulls. And hopefully uh, by episode two, there's at least a bull trout. That's the plan. So That's a new plan now. Comment down below if you want to see him. Hit the subscribe button. We got a long drive ahead of us. Five months. <laughs>